Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to double stuff a bubble balloon and show you how I make this beautiful Mickey head inside this uh, clear bubble. If you like more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe below and let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as I mentioned before, I will be showing you how to double stuff a bubble balloon. Now, the um, materials that we're gonna be using for today are, um, I have a 36 inch bubble balloon, okay? The quality is um, Bobo Balloons and it's the 36 inch. So it's pretty big as you can see. And I'm also gonna be using this um, anagram balloon and it's a Mickey face and this one I think it's a it's a small one but I will put the uh, link on where to get them I got them on Amazon and um, I had a bunch of them that came in one package and um, this is what I will be using to put inside of the bubble balloon so basically what I kind of want to accomplish is um, the head of the Mickey inside the bubble balloon almost like a snow globe so it will be kind of like this okay and that's pretty much it that's all I'm gonna use and the reason for this is because my son's um, first birthday it's coming up in March and I was thinking on doing a Mickey Prince Royale theme birthday party so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a very nice garland and i thought to go ahead and um use some of these stuffed balloons throughout the garland but i'm not gonna get there until you know we're closer to march but i wanted to show you how to double stuff this balloon to make it you know look like a 3d um, version of the Mickey head so um, let's get started the only thing you will be needing is your hand pump and maybe um, some form of a stick so that we can insert this balloon inside the bubble balloon okay and um, something that I'm curious about too in the website this Mickey um, said it does not um, self sealed that means when you pump air inside the balloon, it won't seal at the bottom. That sometimes you have to use almost like a heat machine and to close the air in. So um, this will be my first time using this balloon and I have to um, see how it's gonna work. If it does double seal, great. If it doesn't, I will have to, um, you know, see a way of sealing this. Now, I know that there are machines that you can just clamp it and um, heat seal it, but um, if you don't have that, I also heard from people sealing it by using just a, a hair straightener, you know, just low heat, clamp it for a little bit and you're good to go. Um, so I guess we'll find out when I inflate this, okay? So let's get to it and let's get started. Hi guys, okay, so let's start by prepping our bubble balloon. And if you haven't checked my video on how to prep this, I do have one. I will uh, tag it right on the top where I can show you how to put small balloons in a bubble balloon. So don't forget to check that out. That's actually a really cool video and it shows you from you know beginning to end on how to work with the balloon. But um, this is my 36 inch balloon and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it out. And this is almost like a, um, you know, beach ball consistency. It's just thinner but thicker than a regular balloon. So what you're going to do is you're just going to stretch just like that. You want to make sure that all throughout I go around at least one time or twice around to stretch it out. And you can follow uh, the uh, directions that come with the balloons. But um, pretty much you just need to stretch it because even though you can inflate it like that, you run the risk to um, inflate it a little lopsided on you know one side versus the other or they tend to pop. And trust me, you don't want to pop these balloons because they are expensive, you know. So um, 
it happened to me and I was so mad. <laughs> so make sure that you work your balloon and it's gonna look almost like wrinkly. You do wanna get to that wrinkle. Um, just put some force into it to stretch it and you can inflate it a couple times if you want. Now, the only other thing that I suggest is I've inflated these balloons with a um, electric pump and it works great, but you have to be really careful because again, you can pop it. If you haven't really worked the balloon, stretch it out to, to give it, you know, that um, stretch to it, it will pop. So the reason why I like to use the hand pump, it's because, you know, it's, it's easier for me to control how much air goes into. So just make sure you stretch it and keep working at it until you have it almost like wrinkly like this. Okay, so continue to do that. Okay, so now that I have my balloon stretched out, now I'm going to move on to inserting this bubble, um, this, uh, not bubble, sorry, this Mickey head into my bubble balloon. So the way to do that is I have this little stick that actually comes with the balloon itself. But if not, you can go to the dollar shirt and just get it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my balloon in half. And you have to think about, you want to insert it in here and fit through this um, thin nozzle. So the way to do that is I'm just going to fold it. I'm going to put my stick right like this and start rolling my balloon with the stick. And this will actually help me insert my balloon inside my bubble balloon. So now that I have it just like this, I'm going to insert it in here. Don't release the ears. Okay. And feed it through. Okay. Now you're going to take your stick out. and kind of wiggle your balloon inside. There's really no right method to it. The utilizing the stick is just to help you push it in. But you know, once it's all rolled like that, you have your tabs here, don't, don't lose those. And what you're gonna do is, even with the same stick, I think I can help myself unfold my balloon. Just help it a little bit, you know what I mean? Use your best judgment. Again, you guys, this is the first time I'm trying this with you guys, so <laughs> I'm learning as I go. And, you know, what better way than to teach you guys. And even if I make an error, you guys get to see um, and learn from this video. So. So I think what I'm going to do is I need to pump some air into my clear balloon so that my Mickey balloon can unfold. Okay, so grabbing just like this and securing it. You want to inflate 
your balloon and remember when it's wrinkled here it means it's not done there should be no wrinkles in this bubble balloon so that it can inflate to capacity okay now I'm gonna inflate it a couple times and deflate it to just give it some stretch but I just wanted to inflate it so that my Mickey balloon head can be inside Once I inflate my Mickey, I think it'll actually get into place, but I just want to help my bubble balloon by deflating and stretching it a bit as well. You can do it up to like maybe as many times as you can just to make sure it's stretched out, okay? I think it's getting where I need to. Okay, and I don't need to inflate it to capacity yet. I now want to start inflating my Mickey. Here's the tricky part, you guys, because you want to inflate your Mickey without releasing some air from your bubble balloon. So you're essentially just working with one hand here. <laughs> So what I'm doing is trying to insert my nozzle into the tab of the Mickey balloon. Okay. And now that I have it just like this, I'm going to grab the two. And see if I can inflate some air. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay. So this is so far what I got. How cute is that? So I feel that my Mickey is a lot smaller than the bubble balloon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release some air here, but what I notice it is true because this is an anagram uh, Mickey head. It does not have a self seal. So if I release my hand, both airs will come out air from the bubble balloon and air from the Mickey balloon. So I think it'll be, um, I'm not sure. I think, yes, it'll be better if I was to heat seal close this um, anagram balloon so the air doesn't, it doesn't deflate. Because um, I can see like how the balloon is losing its air inside a little bit. Um, yeah. And I was thinking the other thing I could do is just seal it shut like that. Like just, you know, close it together. But you see how it's deflating a little bit? It's not as tight. So I think I, I may need to heat seal the thing. So, 
that's it listen it's this is why I'm like doing it's a trial and error moment so I am going to inflate my Mickey balloon to make it pop a little bit and I'm going to go upstairs and heat seal use uh, my uh, straighten hair strainer to heat seal this balloon inside so we'll see if that works out but I won't be able to show you guys that part because I have to run to my bathroom and start heating my, um, what do you call it, my straightener. So as you can see, look, it's kind of deflating inside. So it looks really good, the whole entire idea of it. So I'm going to do that to preserve the air inside. And, um, you know, I may deflate some of the the bubble balloon to kind of you know get it smaller so that it's not too big compared to my mickey head so if i make it smaller you know i'm not sure i'm not sure you guys it's it's a working process so if i make it smaller it may not even it doesn't even look like it looks good so Unless the only other option I have is to use a smaller bobo balloon. All right, we'll see. See you in a minute. Hi, guys. I'm back. Okay, so I left off on how to insert your Mickey Mouse head inside your uh, bubble balloon. Now, as I mentioned before, these uh, Mickey Mouse anagram balloons don't self-seal, which could cause a little bit of a pain, but... Um, you if you don't have a um heat seal machine to um heat seal shut the balloon inside uh what's going to happen is if you don't close the um if you don't heat seal it shut the air comes out so if you don't have one of those machines you can just use your uh, hair straightener uh put it on the lowest setting and just let it heat up a little bit. So what I did was I inflated my bubble balloon a little bit just to give the Mickey balloon extra room. I inflated with air my balloon and what I did is I went ahead and just basically did this, right? I push it all the way like that and I had my tab of my Mickey balloon out and securing the air all I did was just use my hair straightener and I just clamped it just like that for a few seconds and took it out so as you can see right over here this is the valve right the tab you can see how it sealed it shut um and that way the air won't come out okay so my balloon inside is nice and firm because I was able to heat seal the tab to uh, make sure that the air doesn't come out. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is just inflate my bubble balloon to the size I want so it doesn't look wrinkly like this and then my whole piece will be good to go. So let me go ahead and start inflating my bubble balloon. Now I do wanna have my uh, one of my 160s, actually I'm going to use a 260, okay? I'm going to use a 260 balloon so that when my bubble balloon is inflated, then I can go ahead and shut it, shut the air with my 260, okay? So what I'm going to do is just put some air in my bubble balloon and make sure that my Mickey is centered with the seam. So the ears are facing, you know, are aligned with the seam of the bubble balloon. But this is a trial and error, you guys. I mean, I'm learning with you and I already have ideas and March is not so, it's actually coming pretty soon. <laughs> and I tend to do all these ideas ahead of time for my kids' birthday parties. So at least I know, you know, when the time comes, what I'm doing. Um, so I'm inserting air back again on my bubble balloon, making sure the seams are good. There you go. And I want to have, again, my Mickey right there.
make sure this time my Mickey is facing this way. Perfect, the seams are right here, aligned with the ears. What's happening is when you go around to close the air, sometimes your Mickey can shift. And it doesn't have to be Mickey Mouse. I mean, that's the theme for my son's birthday party. But if you put any foil balloon inside, as long as it's smaller than your bubble balloon, I think it'll look really good. Um, but you can put a mermaid. I've seen people do mermaids, other things. And um, so now I grab my 260 Q balloon and I'm gonna secure it a couple of times. The only one problem that I think is once you do this type of arrangements with the anagram balloons, you cannot, um, you can still deflate it back and reuse them, but because they're uh, heat seal shut, um, I don't see how that could be reusable unless you heat seal every time and keep cutting what you already done in the past, like, you know, it's you will have to cut this uh, tab in order to insert more air, but that's the only problem. So make sure that when you're ready to do your arrangement, you are you know exactly what you want because once you heat seal this anagram balloon inside, that's it. There's no turning back. <laughs> so you know if you want to practice, yes, you can practice, but just be mindful that you know you may not be able to deflate it to use it back again. So now I tied it just like that, making sure that my Mickey is right in the middle of my bubble. And look at how cute that is, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to spread a bunch of Mickey balloons all around my son's garland. And um, the colors will be gold and navy blue because um, I'm leaning towards the theme of the Prince Royale. So it's his first year and I wanted to make it extra special for him. And I think how cute these balloons are. You know, uh, the bubble balloons are just so versatile, you guys. Like you can do anything. I mean, one of my followers sent me a picture of how she used the bubble balloon, put some feathers in it, attach it to like a bouquet of flowers at the bottom and it made it look like a um, hot air balloon. And it just looks so beautiful. I mean, you know, maybe next I'll be doing that and copying her idea. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to make such a beautiful and unique arrangement using a bubble balloon and an anagram balloon. Um, and if you want, you can put some balloons here, some tool fabric. Um, you know, in this case, I will attach it to my balloon garland and you can even use it as a centerpiece. I mean, you know, for all those people that are making big birthday parties, like you can have this at a center of a table and make it as a cute centerpiece with a bunch of balloons. Um, I've seen this type um, with helium and they just hang. Oh my gosh, how cute those are. So I am so excited, you guys. I hope you like it. And if you like to watch more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe below. Um, also, hit that little bell because every time I make a new video, you will be alerted and, um, and you get to see new things that I'm coming up with. I have a bunch of things coming soon and uh, one of those is my boy's birthday party, so stay tuned for that. And I can't wait to hear all your comments. Let me know if you like this arrangement. I mean, how can you not? How cute is that? You can make Minnie Mouse, any other type of balloons, and what a precious little thing. Look at that. So I hope you guys like it, and see you until next time. Bye-bye.